Let's take a look at one more reaction since we spent so much time discussing the oxidation of glucose. So again, uh, what we know about this reaction, we've already calculated the delta H is negative 2816 kilojoules per mole. And you could look up, and we'll figure out how to calculate it soon, the change in entropy, which is plus 233 joules per k mole. Uh, so before we actually do this calculation, let's go to a clicker question, and I want you to think about what's happening here. So if you're thinking about the oxidation of glucose and what the sign is of the change in enthalpy and the change in entropy, which of these statements is true? Is it going to be spontaneous at all temperatures, non-spontaneous at all temperatures, or will it depend on the temperature whether this reaction is spontaneous or not spontaneous? So remember, this is our relationship here. So let's go ahead and just take 10 seconds on this one. Okay, so we have a, a pretty mixed response here. So this could have made or broke the uh, chances of your team on the competition today, but there'll be a few more left to redeem yourselves if you uh, got it incorrect. So what we're going to find is that it's spontaneous at all temperatures, and we can actually just look at this equation here to figure out why that is. If, if our reaction is spontaneous, that means that delta G is negative. So in terms of delta H being negative, well, that's going to always contribute to delta G being negative, no matter what the temperature is. And if delta S is positive, since it's minus T delta S, and our temperature is always positive because we're on the Kelvin scale, so it starts at, at zero there, then this component here is always going to be negative as well. So we're always going to have two negative numbers so that our, our combination, our delta G, is always going to be negative. It's always going to be spontaneous. All right, so let's make sure that's what we do see when we uh, calculate this for the oxidation of glucose here. So if we do this and we plug in our numbers, we see that delta G is going to be equal to negative 2816 times the temperature, room temperature, times, again, remember to put 0.233 because we need to convert from joules to kilojoules for our entropy term. So what we find out is that this reaction has a delta G of negative 2885 kilojoules per mole. This is a spontaneous reaction.